Ready, all right, whenever you're ready, open the door, come in. Straight in. That's it. Stay there. Now turn around and shut the door. All right, don't worry about the door to begin with. Because again, what you did when you first walked in, was you walked in and you turned to shut the door straight away. So in your mind, you just turned your back on him. And then the first the other time you walked in, before you did that, was as soon as he jumped up, you jumped backwards. See the difference when you walk in and own it? You see how he's not jumping up at you. When you and you didn't have to do anything. You didn't have to shout at him, didn't have to push him. You literally just walked in with a presence, like you owned my house. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. And look at the difference. When you first, see look, he's looking at you now. That's the third time you've just walked through that door. Right, I wish I'd got it beforehand. But like the first time you walked, I'll do it again. <laughs> the first time you walked through that door, he jumped up at you. You jumped backwards. Then you shut the door and walked in, and he continued to jump up on you. Second time you walked in, you walked in more authoritative. You didn't jump backwards, but you quickly turned your back and shut the door. That showed him that he wasn't being very assertive. You can shut the door by uh, still being yeah. assertive. So hold that. Just point that towards the door. So, for instance. I, if, if you're worried about him getting out the door, you can do this. Presents. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So I don't have to turn my back to shut the door. No. To begin with. <laughs> but you see how spatial pressure yeah, makes him yeah. move up. So if I move forward, see he moves backwards. Yeah? See? That's it. Then stop. Then go down. You see how when you change your body language and body position, it changes the dog, right? So if you go down and make yourself small, yeah. he's naturally going to keep coming towards you. See, look, he's trying to climb on you. Stand up with authority. If you stood up moving backwards or very soft and tentatively, he would have carried on jumping up. He responds to you. He has a habit of manipulating women and picking up on their softness. It's like he's just in this, isn't it? Because <laughs> he doesn't do it with men. He doesn't do it with men. He only does it with women. His victims are all women. Oh my God. It's, 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 Look, move it's, forward, move forward. it's he's a like, dog for the century. Turn around, turn around and face him. Stay there. That's it. Perfect. Yeah. Always be aware of your body. It, dogs are very simple. So, what are you doing in my corner? If I, if I move backwards, see he comes forward. If I move forward, see he goes backwards. Yeah? Mm -hmm. It's called spatial pressure. But you don't want to say, I'll come down because I want to invite him over to me. Right? But notice, because the way I am from the second I've, from the second I've met him, I've stamped my authority. He's He's, he comes over to me. He comes over to me respectfully. He doesn't jump all over me. No. Whereas people he doesn't respect, he jumps all over, he's like, hey, you, hey, you, hey, Let's you. Let's see if he does it with you. Hey, go on, walk out the door. First of all, come in naturally. So just do what you normally do and see how he is with you. He'd knock. <laughs> he knock you. No. <laughs> That's it, just come in. See, look, completely different reaction. But you don't get bit. Right. No. You do. I, <laughs> I mean, I, I shouldn't laugh. The fact. I mean, that sounds that's really hot. Exactly, you get bit, and then I laugh. Well, but that, that's the, that's exactly what I don't understand. Yeah. But again, it, it's the way it's the way you two interact. Right. When you walk in, sir, you walk in like you're walking in. It's just a presence. When you walk in, you give all your space up to the dog. You move backwards. You turn your back on the dog. You do anything except say, "Look, back off," because it, 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 inevitably. He's a dog, right? We love him, he's cute, he's adorable, but he's a dog, right? And dogs need to be told what to do. They need to know what they can do, what they can't do. And a dog cannot think for a second that it can manipulate people. Because when dogs make decisions, they often make bad decisions, okay? So he can make the decision as quick to walk away as he can make the decision to buy it. This dog, obviously, his confidence has built up in the last two weeks since I've seen him, but he's a fear, he's a fear buyer. Mm. And his victims are generally women that are soft with him that he gets to manipulate. Eek.
doing? <laughs> Should have called him what? <laughs> okay, no. Right, no, right. <laughs> no, 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 no. So, move forward, forward, forward. So you move backwards. Know, your natural know, response know, is to move backwards. And you give up your space when you move no, backwards. No, I know, I know, I know, I know. It's just, it's a learned response. It is, it's, it's, but again, like I said, I can unlearn. When, when you break it down, it's quite easy to see. Yeah, but right. from a human standpoint, it's very easy to miss because you do what comes naturally to you. Problem is, him, right here, Milo, reads everything. He understands you from A to Z. You understand Milo from A to B. Yeah, He understands every time you move your body a certain way, he can react a certain way. He understands when you feel a certain way, he can react a certain way. Yeah. He knows everything about you. You're still learning about him. And I always tell people, dogs are excellent at reading humans. We are shit at reading dogs. I, 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 I don't understand yeah. it, though. I really don't. No, but he has nothing but time. Ooh, All yeah. he does is watch. Yeah. Watch the world go by. Watch how everyday humans become neurotic and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when he puts his ears back like that, that looks to me like he's... he's about something. No, but again, when, I mean, he, when he's got his ears up, right, he looks quite happy and cheerful, right? Is that not no, true? But again, it doesn't. Ears up can mean several things. They can be alert. A dog can put his ears up when they're getting uncomfortable. His ears twitching can be something as simple as he's yeah. listening to a conversation. It can be something as simple as he's heard a noise. Like every time that door makes a no uh, my door makes a little noise because the window, his ears twitch. Yeah. Ears back can be a sign of a dog relaxed. Ears low, ears back is a sign of dogs relaxed. If the ears are pinned back, it can also be a sign that the dog's nervous. Right. Okay, a lot of people misstrew the dog's ears being back as the dog gets relaxed when it's actually terrified. But generally, when their ears are back, they're relaxed. So like, his ears are back now, he's relaxed. He's, he's just heard something, so his ears are up. He's trying to, he's trying to pick up noise and sound. It's, it's so like a sonar taking it all in right now. He looks depressed when he's got his ears back. That's what I say. Well, no, it's because you're not seeing Picasso. It's not Picasso, so what's the word? Damien. <laughs> <laughs> it's because his right. ears aren't up looking at you like he's going to bite yeah. you. Yeah, right, yeah. Okay. You're not used that... to... Well, the reality here, right, you're not used to seeing a relaxed dog. Right. Because when right. I first saw him two weeks ago, he wasn't a relaxed dog. He was a nervous dog. Uh -huh. Now you're seeing a more comfortable, relaxed dog. His ears back right now, he's relaxed. He's mm -hmm. with us. Now he's just eating his bum. Okay? So it, sometimes Occam's razor, simply, <laughs> so, simply solution is the most. It's a cat back reaction yeah. to the camera. Right. <laughs> yeah. But look, his ears are back, he's relaxed. If his ears were pinned right back, like literally always touching each other, chances are it's fear. Right, right. And it'd right. have to be accompanied with him moving his head back or things like that. And again, the towel. The towel tells a lot about the dog. Some dogs haven't actually more towel and everything that goes through, but a towel tucked between the dog's legs can be fear, a towel low can be fear. See, look, he went to jump, but you see how you mm, move forwards? Yeah. I'm learning. <laughs> you did, but you see how you stopped him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, look, yeah, now yeah. you're moving backwards, he's like to follow you. He's like, what's going on? But he's jumping up, he's for attention. Mm -hmm. But then often when you give him attention, when he doesn't want attention, he's like, no, bugger off. Well, exactly. <laughs> moving back, he moves forward. Move forward, he moves away. You invite yeah, him yeah. over to you, give oh, him attention. He's right now, he's a fear biter, which means you want to take the control away from him. And again, as we, <laughs> as we went over in another video about him, he seems to actually really appreciate it when someone takes the control away from him. As soon as somebody steps up with a bit of confidence and tells him what to do, yeah, yeah, yeah. then he starts to instantly relax. Right. Well done, bud. Let's see, obviously, she's just popped to the toilet. It's just been, what, 40, 45 minutes since since we last done this, or we've just she been was, out. She, she been. stuck. Yeah, but well, that's all. But the thing is, that, I mean, she's understandably worried because obviously the dog has bit her. Yeah, right. But she's well, making fantastic progress. I mean, the dog's gone from being a nervous wreck to he's a really confident little dog now. Yeah. Yeah. And that's been in two weeks, the transition in two weeks. So imagine what it's like yeah. in another two weeks, yeah. in four weeks. Yeah. Let's see how she, how she owns it. Straight in like you own it. Thinking about it. The massive difference, just a one that time. As opposed to jumping up like a jack rabbit. Look at that. 
Nice. That's beautiful. Look at that. Yeah, come here, let's see, let's see what he's like. Nice. <laughs> so, two, 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 two weeks ago, <laughs> jumping all over you. Use, use the spatial pressure. Excellent. I'm so pleased with my progress. <laughs> I know, I'm pleased with your progress as well. Look oh, at okay, him. You're welcome. All right, okay, so I'll, um, I'll transfer the rest of that money to your...